Here's a story from Grandpa for my three favorite little girls, Emma, Ayla, and Audrey. I've told you that I love trees, especially some really old trees. Many trees can be a hundred years old, and a few can make a thousand years old. I've showed you a photo of the giant Grant giant sequoia that has made it over to 1,650 years old. The oldest tree is the Great Basin Bristle Cone tree that made over 5,000 years old, which is just amazing to me. Humans aren't nearly as old as trees, but they are much older than most animals, except for turtles. Turtles, like humans, are often live to be 50 to 100 years old. There is a sun sea turtle called Jonathan that is still alive and is 190 years old. Can you imagine how wisdom a creature could be to be 190 years old? In today's story, the author imagines how a character called Old Turtle has made some wisdom for us. Here's the story, Old Turtle. Story by Douglas Wood, Watercolors by Cheng Ki Chi. Once long, long ago, yet somehow not so very long, when all the animals and rocks and winds and waters and trees and birds and fish and all the beings of the world could speak and understand one another, there began an argument. It began softly at first, quiet as the first breeze that whispered, he is wind and is never still. Quiet as the stun that answered, he is a great rock that never moves. Gentle as a mountain that rumbled, God is a snowy peak, quiet above the clouds. And the fish in the ocean that answered, God is a swimmer in the dark blue depths of the sea. No, said the star, God is a twinkling and a shining far, far away. No, replied the ant, God is a sound and a smell and a feeling who is very, very close. God, said the antelope, is a runner, swift and free, who lives to leap and race with the wind. She is a great tree, whispered the wellow, a part of the world always growing and always giving. You are wrong, argued the island. God is separate and apart. God is always like shining sun, far above all things, said the blue sky. No, he is a river who flows through the very heart of things, thundered the waterfall. She is hunter, roared the lion. God is gentle, chirped the robin. He is powerful, growled the bear. And the argument grew louder and louder and louder until... Stop! A new voice spoke. It rumbled loudly like thunder, and it whispered softly like butterfly sneezes. The voice seemed to come from... Why, it seemed to come from... Old Turtle. Now, Old Turtle hardly ever said anything, and certainly never argued about things like God. But now Old Turtle began to speak. God is indeed deep, she said to the fish in the sea, and much higher than high, she told to the mountains. He is swift and free as the wind, and still and solid as a great rock, she said to the breezes and stones. She is the life of the world, Turtle said to the willow, always close by, yet beyond the farthest twinkling light, she said to the ant and to the star. God is gentle and powerful, above all things and within all things. God is all that we dream of and all that we seek, said old turtle. All that we come from, all that we can find, God is. Old turtle had never said so much before. All the beings of the world were surprised and became very quiet. But old turtle had one more thing to say. There will be a new family of beings in the world, she said, and they will be strange and wonderful. They will be reminders of all that God is. They will come in many colors and shapes with different faces and different ways of speaking. 
Their thoughts will soar to the skies, but their feet will walk the earth. They will possess many powers. They will be strong yet tender, a message of love from God to the earth, and a prayer from the earth get back to God. And the people came. And this drawing shows many, many people of many types of different. But the people forgot. They forgot that they were a message of love and a prayer from the earth. And they began to argue about who knew God and who did not, and where God was and was not, and whether God was or was not. And often the people misused their powers and hurt one another or killed one another, and they hurt the earth, but finally even the forest began to die. And the rivers and the oceans and the plants and the animals and the earth itself, because the people could not remember who they were or where God was, until one day there came a voice like the growling of thunder, but as soft as butterfly sneezes. Please stop! The voice seemed to come from the mountain who rumbled, Sometimes I see God swimming in the dark blue depths of the sea, and from the ocean who sighed. He is often among the snow-capped peaks reflecting the sun. From the sun who said, I sometimes feel her breath as she blows by, and from the breeze who whispered, I feel his still presence as I dance among the star rocks. And the stars said, God is very close. And the island said, He loves touching everything. And after a long, lonesome and scary type, the people listened and began to hear and to see God in one another and in the beauty of all the earth. An old turtle smiled, and that's the end of the story. In Facebook, there's often a photo that shows a dog with a huge smile, and under it says, everyone thinks that they have the best dog, and everyone is right. This means that everyone who thinks that they are the very best dogs are true, and at the same time, they are all the best dogs. I know that my best dogs are the very best dogs, and the very two dogs that I had before that were also the very best dogs, and there's really no argument about it. I think the same idea when people think about God. They may think different ideas of God, and everyone that they think is the very best of God, and they are all right. To me, it, if every one person finds a way to God that helps them to become kind and loves other people, then their God is right and I'm okay. If they aren't good and kind people, then I don't need to listen about anything they believe. Just listen to Old Turtle. Always remember that our grandpa loves you, and I hope to be as wisdom as Old Turtle, and I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.